In the studio with me here at the Grand Prix track is the chair of the Grand Prix Corporation, Ron Walker. Good morning. Neil, good morning on this beautiful day. You were in the pharmacy industry, weren't you? Oh, no, not really in the chemical business, but not ah, the pharmacy not industry. Pharmacy. Big not Big difference. I, want, I did want to talk to you about that drug that uh, is getting attention today, but first I was talking to Louise Asher earlier today. She tells me you and you alone can negotiate the continuation of the Grand Prix. That's I a heavy that, weight. I think that's a bit of a stretch, but <laughs> <laughs> it's only because I've known Bernie for probably almost 40 years that we understand each other's language. But uh, all I can say is we're trying to do the best thing for the state of Victoria and we'll achieve that. And he's very cognizant of the fact that, that whilst he's uh, taken away a lot of the new conditions that most of the other tracks around the world have, uh, it's about the price and the, the economic benefit to the people. Then you're confident you'll do the deal? Yeah, I am. When? But, but How soon? I, well, I don't know. I mean, it's all, the documentation is ready for the government to consider, but the wheels of government turn slowly, and uh, Louise Asher has got the whole of tourism to consider, and this is only one part of it. But have you reached a, a final situation, or are you still negotiating? Well, I think that the, the four players over, so to speak, and it's now a case of uh, talking to the government about... Uh, whether it's worth it or not, but uh, it's, uh, I mean, when you think that 80,000 hotel rooms have been sold this weekend and all the economic benefits that Louise pointed out to you this morning, it's a great thing for Victoria, but there again, it's, you've got to weigh up the costs. But you have got to the stage where agreement's reached, it's up to the government to decide whether it's done? There is a deal on the table and it's up to the Cabinet subcommittee to recommend to Cabinet whatever they want to recommend. We can only do our best and we'll see what happens. Oh, well, we could have an answer within months, couldn't we? We could have an answer within days, weeks, minutes, I don't really know. It's, uh... Is there any urgency about it? Well, Bernie, Bernie's word is his bond, and uh, the, the, the contract will go on until the government says stop. Yeah, but that's if it's not renewed, it finishes next year, doesn't it? Well, we've also got the Motor GP at Phillip Island, which is a great earner for the uh, for the state government in terms of looking at it. That's the largest sporting event in Australia in the regional area, so that'll stay. Mm. But does it does it finish next year? The, the, this one, the, the Formula One, finishes yeah, this year finishes. unless the deal's done. Yeah. And is there any urgency to get that deal done, do you think? Well, there's, there's probably an urgency as t- in terms of our staff are concerned because otherwise they'll be looking for other jobs. But uh, I think the, uh, the state government will look at it very seriously. you believe how, we've, how far we've come in 18 years, this event? 19. 19. 19. Yeah, it's amazing the, the, the slickness of the event now and the controlling of the cost. I mean... Louise mentioned, I think, 28 million just to put it up and pull it down. Well, it's 40,000 tonnes of equipment. It's amazing. It is amazing. And, of course, the REITs throughout the world, I mean, we go out to Russia, China, India and Japan at midday on Sunday for our brand of Melbourne. And uh, the tennis centre costs more. One and a half billion dollars. <laughs> you, you, you led me down the track on that. I was talking to Jeff Kendra about it yesterday. He said, don't ask Ron Walker about the tennis centre. Well, it's cost about one and a half billion dollars for a two-week event and uh, we, don't, we don't have any infrastructure cost labelled to the government at the moment. It's all about uh, you know, the subsidy of 50, 50 odd million dollars. Now, you know, I know that, that Steve Brax and John Brumby wanted to build it out of town or at Docklands, but that's, that'll cost $300 million, and we, we don't want to advertise the rooftops of, of Veltona, do we? No, I don't agree with you. The other thing I did want to ask you about is the uh, the drug. You've been very public in your uh, your battles uh, of recent months with uh, with cancer and the drug that, as you say, saved your life. There seems to be good news and bad news about that today. What's the situation with it? Well, there's good news in terms of the FDA in America allowing more trials. And I think that's great, and that will come through to Australia. But what we, we have a great sense of urgency in getting the Minister Dutton to push it through the PBS and get Joe Hockey to finance it because the, the government doesn't have any money at the moment. But lives are more important than money. And uh, I think that there are so many people that haven't had the opportunity that I've had in getting on this trial need to be looked after. And we need to do it at, a, at an affordable rate. And that's exactly what we're, at, we're all about now. So um, we're meeting with the president of Merck, the pharmaceutical company, in a couple of weeks' time. And hopefully we can nut out a program where we can be quite successful in getting it to come to Australia earlier. You're a man of crusades through your, your career. Is this a crusade now? It's more than ever because I just think there are so many people out there with melanoma. I mean, I hadn't realised that so many people had cancer in this country until it happened to me. And obviously something in my body turned my immune system off 
and I found a drug this, the second time. The first drug almost killed me because it reacted terribly to my body system and this, this was the last resort. And it worked a treat for me because it turned my immediate, my immune system back on and uh, with little side effects. So I'm just a very lucky person. So what is the crusade to have this subsidised quickly? First, first of all, we need to get Merck to agree to it and they're gonna, they'll do a deal with Peter McCallum and Grant MacArthur very soon. That's the first meeting. We've already met with Minister Dutton and he understands the the, the persistence that we'll apply to the government to get this thing through. And once that happens, uh, hopefully we can make it available for, for everybody in a year's time. How are you? I'm fine. I've had no side effects. I've got my strength back and um, I'm very well. That's why I say I, every day I wake up, I just know how lucky I've been. A lot of your friends didn't think you'd be here. Well, that's, that's what a lot of people are saying. In fact, I didn't think that I'd last the distance myself last year. But uh, my hair's growing back, my vanity's been restored, and uh, all I want now is to be able to share this with those people that uh, don't have the contacts. Thank you very much for coming in, and uh, all the best for the weekend. Thank you. Ron Walker, Chair of the Grand Prix Corporation.